Hey there students, in this book we're going to be going or reviewing how to use the counting principle to determine possible outcomes of, of selections, okay? So write down um, the title of the lesson, review on the counting principle, counting principle, okay? All right, uh, so um, let's write down the learning objective for this lesson, the learning objective. All right, so by completing, by completing 80% of the assigned Signed classwork problems. You will apply the counting principle principle in determining. In determining the possible outcomes outcomes of a selection. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, learning objective. Technically, a review objective for this lesson because uh, you already. Um, have seen this before. Okay? Alright, now you have a worksheet that I already handed out to you, so we're going to start by taking a look at number one. Uh, it says the place of pizza offers small, medium, or large pizzas with four different toppings available. How many different one topping pizzas do they serve? So, uh, independent or dependent? Are the toppings and the size connected? Absolutely not. This is an independent situation. Independent. Uh, and what are the possible ways? Well, we we can divide them into two categories. This uh, size, because we have three sizes: small, medium, or large, and the uh, toppings. I'm gonna call top because we have fourteen different kinds of toppings, right? So, how many different sizes do we have? We have three size, kinds of sizes and 14 types of toppings. So, we're going to multiply those two. As we have this and this, remember, and is multiplication. We just multiply these two, and our answer will be 30 plus 12, which is 42. 42 different kinds of uh, pizzas that we serve. All right, let's take a look at number two. In number two, uh, letters A, B, C, D are used to form a four-letter to form a four-letter word passwords for entering a computer file. How many passwords are possible if letters can be repeated? Since the letters can be repeated, that means there is no change whatsoever. So if there is no change, guess what? This is independent. It's independent because. You can keep repeating, so it doesn't really matter uh, after you select a word. Okay, so this is independent. All right, so let's go ahead and solve the problem. We are forming a four-letter password, right? So how many spots are we going to have? We're going to have four spots. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many choices do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four letters that we can use, okay? So for the first spot, we can use A, B, C, or D, four choices. This is the... Uh, first, and then we have the second, and then we have the third, and then we have the fourth. These are the, the these are the uh, words for my password. Okay. So how about the second letter for my password? Since I can repeat, I still have four, right? And then for the third, I still have four, A, B, C, or D. And then for the last, I still have four. So four times four times four times four, sixteen times sixteen. I believe it's 256. Let me just verify to make sure. Uh, so 
basically 4 to the 4th power is the same as 4 times 4. 256 is my answer. So there are 256, uh, 256 possible passwords that can be created, which is not too much. Easy to crack. Alright, so 256. Okay, let's move on to number three. Number three, uh, the restaurant serves five main dishes, three salads, four desserts. How many different meals could be ordered if each has a main dish, a salad, and a dessert? So, is this independent or dependent? Does the main dish affect the salads? Does the salad affect the dessert? Absolutely not. They are disconnected. This is an independent situation. Okay? This is independent. Uh, so, we're making... Meals, meals compose of three options. We have the main, right? The main. We have the uh, we have the uh, salad, right? And then we have the dessert. Okay, dessert. Okay, main, salad, and dessert. So, how many of each do we have? We have uh, five main dishes, and Three salads, they're independent, they don't affect each other, so they stay separate, and then the dessert is four. Okay? So we multiply everything together. We have sixty, right? Sixty possible meals that can be created here. Alright, now let's move on to number four. Has to do with Marisa's uh, wardrobe. Um so Let's read that carefully. It says Marisa bought Marisa brought eight t-shirts and six pairs of shorts to summer camp. How many different outfits consistent of a t-shirt and a pair of shorts does she have? Is this dependent or independent? The shirts and the shorts are two different dressing categories. These are tops, these are bottoms. So this is independent. Uh, so how do we do this? Uh, we have two categories, right? Category for the, the first category is the shirts, the t-shirts, and the second category is selection is the shorts. Okay, so how many shirts are there? Total of eight shirts, right? And how many shorts are there? So it's of six pairs of shorts, right? So since she's wearing a shirt and a short and maybe multiply so you just tie both of them together your answer is 48 possible combinations that she can have okay all right let's move on to number five number five it says um there are six different packages available for school pictures the studio offers five different backgrounds and two different finishes how many different options are available so um We, okay, so um, let's see the spots that we have. Uh, in this case, we'll have a package and then we have a background and finishes. So uh, these are independent, okay? They're not connected in any way. Uh, the background, the finishes, and the package are all different categories. They don't change. One doesn't change the other. So this is an independent uh, situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve it. Uh, so all we're just going to do is we're going to create three positions. We have the uh, the package. Package. Let me, let me write it so it's bigger for you to see. We have the package or pack. We have the uh, the uh, background, the back, and we have the finish. Okay. So out of the, out of any of the packages you pick, you have six choices to pick from, and then after you pick one, then you have uh, five different backgrounds to pick, and then from the backgrounds after that you have two other finishes to pick from. So what are the total possible options you have considering all these three independent choices? Uh, Sixty is your answer. Six times five times two, sixty. Okay. Alright, number six, how many five digit even numbers can be formed using the digits four, six, seven, two, eight? If digits can be repeated. So how many five digit even numbers? A number that's even 
basically means that if the number is even, that means the last number has to be uh, either 2. It can be 0, but there's no 0 here. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay? These are the only choices that you have in this problem for even numbers. There's a 0, but 0... Numbers ending with 0 are even, but it doesn't apply here since 0 is not on the list, okay? So, let's make our spots. We have 5 digit numbers, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is this dependent or independent? Since you can repeat... Since uh, you, can, you can repeat, this is independent, because it doesn't change. There's no effect that repetition is possible, okay? Independent. Alright, so, for the first spot, the first uh, position, first digit, uh, it doesn't matter, it's only the last digit that matters, right, if the number is odd or even, so, for the first spot, we have one, two, three, four, five, five choices, the second spot, we also have five, 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 and oh, wait, how about the last one here, we can only have two, four, six, or eight, so we have, you can either have four, six, two, or eight, so we have four choices here, to make sure that it's even, because this is what determines if it's even, or not. So when we do the math, we have uh, 5 to the 5th power times 4. That gives us 12,500. Alright, so I uh, let me do this again. I, I messed up. It's supposed to be uh, the 4 fives. Are, are they, this is 5 to the 4th. Sorry, times 4. 5 to the 4th times 4, because there are 5 times 5 times 5. 4 of them times 4. Answer 2500. Okay? I did it, it was extra at the end of time. So the answer here is 2,500. 2,500 uh, different uh, combinations. All right, let's take a look at number seven. Number seven, how many license plate numbers consisting of three letters followed by three numbers are possible when repetition is allowed? So we formula, we're formulating a license plate. Three letters, one, two, three. Followed by three numbers, one, two, three. Repetition is allowed, so that makes this independent. Okay? Whatever repetition is allowed is independent. So, first three are letters. How many letters do we have? We have 26 letters in all. Okay? And how many numbers do we have? Uh, or digits. Ten numbers or digits in all. Okay? This one A, B, C, D, E, F, G, for this one and this one goes 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9, okay? So these are where our selections are coming from. So, uh, first spot, these are the letters, and these are the numbers, okay? So, uh, let's, let's take a look. So this, this, the first three are letters, and then this three, last three are my numbers. From color... These are my uh, numbers, okay? So, to generate this, um, what we're going to do, we're going to go um, possible letters here, 26 times 26 times 26. It doesn't change because it's independent and letters can repeat. So, it's picking from here. And numbers, 10 possible numbers, so it's basically 10 for this position, and then 10 and then 10, since there are no repetitions allowed. Multiply everything together, that will give us our answer. So this one is basically 26 to the third times 10 to the third. Answer, 1, uh, 17,576,000, okay? The answer is basically 17,576,000. A lot. That's a lot of a lot of numbers to formulate. Okay. All right. So number eight says, how many four-digit uh, even integers are there? Let's take a look at that one, and then we can start on the password. How many positive four-digit integers are there? So in this case, um, we are going to be making four positions: one, two, three. Four. Okay. Now this one 
this one you have 10 choices this is this could be anything okay this one this one you have 10 choices okay so this one so for the first one you're free to pick whatever you want so how many digits are there there are 10 possible digits so in the first spot you can pick any 10 second spot 10 third spot 10 now it is the last number that determines if it's even or odd so if this number must be even this number this last number must be zero one two oh no, no, no sorry <laughs> zero two four six or eight so one two three four five so you five of so you'll have only five choices here okay so you multiply everything your answer is there are going to be uh five thousand five thousand even four digits uh, positive integers in the world okay so there you go thanks for paying attention to this clip remember it's uploaded on youtube for your viewing pleasure